Okay, last race for me today is over at Market Racing. It's the Lincolnshire National Handicap Chase over three miles and five furlongs. No more prisons of Paul Rhodes. Bayswater Marsh for Davy Ladd. Sheila for Craig Beckwith. Chingford Cross for Hems. Plain Lukey for Martin Leadham, or Plain Lucky as we like to call it, for Truvy and Hindsight and Merrill's Golly for David Ladd and Daniel French. Oh, Watergate for Darren Thompson. National Pastime for Joshua Sutherland. Tacker Jam for Alex Cherry. Blooming Chase for Darren Thompson. Arbor Lodge for Paul Rhodes. Hardy a call for James Shea. Shadow Play for Daniel French. Amelia Farley for Pontypool Racing. Fiddler's Woman's for Derek Kinton. Slip Anchor for Paul O'Neill. Better Ass Battle for Ryan Costello. Swift Breeze for Stu Gray. Cashback for Alex Cherry. A Mellow Ounce is Martin Leadham. And Bockman for Dan Hughes makes up 22 to go to challenge for the Lincolnshire National Handicap Chiefs here at Market Razor. They get to the first, everybody's on their feet. And another further 21. They get to the second, and they will have a further 21 to take. So we wait for these all to settle down, these long distance chasers. Get to the third, the water. I don't think they'll have to run in the final home straight. Market reason, but we're being led by well known front runner Slipanger. He's outside his Watergate that's coming over to the fence to join him. And they're a couple of lengths away from Botman and Merrill, Merrill's Golly. And the purple silks of Shadow Plate. He's outside his Arbor Lodge and wider still is Better Ass Battle. And the blue silks of Sheila. Grey blooming chase of Darren Thompson. About a length away from Takajan against the fence when he's outside his fiddler's woman. They get to the fourth. They all kind of stumble their way through that. And another grey, Bayswater Marsh. Wider those is Hardy Accord. Then we've got Vitruvian Hindsight. Oh, we've lost one there. It's Sheila that's gone. And looking to connections. And moving back towards the rear, we've got Swift Breeze there. Wider those, I think, is National Pastime and Amelia Farley. Back up towards the fence is Chingford Cross. As they take the six, all still on their feet. And we've got no more prisoners up towards us here against the fence. The yeah, outside of that is Chingford Cross, as I mentioned. Cashback, swift breeze towards the rear, and on mellow ounces. For the leaders, slip anchor and Watergate. Happy to bowl along together. We're about three lengths from Merrill's Golly on our own in third. Botman Arbor Lodge and Shadow Play. As they approach the next, you know, they're drawn out now as they swing right handed here at uh, the Raisin, the market. But it is Slip Anchor and Watergate from Merrill's Golly, Botman Shadow Play and Arbor Lodge. Right at the rear now is Swift Breeze. The length behind Amelia Farley and Ornello Ounces on the inside, along with Plain Lukey. Plain lucky. Oh, poor jump at the rear by Swift Breeze there. They get to the eighth. And they all get over it, but there were some poor jumps there. <laughs> it's all still on their feet, by the one. They get to the ninth. Conditions, rain starting to come down here. It's fair weather jockeys. Even the fair weather horses. There's plenty that don't like the kick back of the mud. They get over the water for the second time. All over it. Uh, it's still Slip Anchor. Spine length or so from Watergate. Mills, Golly, and Botman. Pretty much your 1, 2, 3, 4. It's still over 2 miles to travel. And we've got Arbor Lodge and Bayswater Marsh. Blooming Chaser against the fence, followed through by Better Ass Battle. And we're downhill now. Away from the grandstand. It is still Slip Anchor. Watergate. And we'll get over that one as well. It's quite a reasonable jump by no more prisoners, sort of mid pack towards the rear. To the ditch. And everybody's got over that as well. So they're all stand, standing on their feet here. They just lost Sheila. But, uh, but the first couple. So the ten fences to take. It's still slip anger from Watergate. Lower, higher jumpers. And they went over a particularly high and higher Michael Jordan like was Vitruvian hindsight. Slip and Gaff from Watergate. There was Golly. Botman. Bayswater Marsh joins them now, along with Shadow Play. 
even a couple of lengths away from Blooming Chaser and Vitruvian Hindsight and Arbor Lodge together. And the first of the Alex Cherry's horses, Tagajan up against the fence. Not one really wide, Cashback, a length or so back. Inside of Cashback is Fiddler's Woman's. Chimfer crosses against the fence, and the outside of that, I think, is not too sure that one is. Plain Lucky. Plain Lucky and Amelia Farley together. Plain Lucky, man. Talk like a Geordie as they go over the 14th. Day 2. And it is Slip Anchor that leads them over the 15th. Jumping's all been pretty slow here. One of the national pastime didn't get over that uh, too well at the rear. It's dropped into uh, Tal and Charlie position. That time Amelia Farley didn't take that particularly well. One's at the front are jumping better. Watercoat's dropped back a little bit now and allowed Merrill's golly to take up second on his own. He'll take the water for the last time. And have another circuit to go and just over a mile to travel. Just the six fences to take now. So it's Slip Anchor from Merrill's Golly, Watergate and Bayswater Marsh. On the inside is Shadow Play, Botman on his outside. Moving through now, Will Arbor Lodge, Blooming Chaser up against the fence, Vitruvian, Hindsight, the Grey. They're a length or so away from Blue Lucky, Tarka Jan. And the length back to Chingford Cross and Cashback between those horses. I think Fiddler's Woman and No More Prisoners. A better ass battle on the wide outside as they go over the 18th. We get a little bit closer order now. There's only six furlongs left to travel, and Slip Anchor's still slipping the lead from Merrill's Golly. Go over a ditch, and the outside is Shadow Play on the inside, Watergate, Bayswater, Marsh, Blooming Chaser, Botman, Vitruvian Hindsight, making up a little bit of ground now, Arbor Lodge, Tagger Chan off the bridle, and we've got Plain Lucky, Chingford Cross, no more prisoners, Amelia Farley, Swift Blaze, a lot we can't see here as they go over the 20th, and there's only going to be three left to jump. And we've lost our mellow ounces, he's a gone up but it's Slip Anchor that still leads. He's being now chased down by Bayswater Marsh. So Slip Anchor, Bayswater Marsh, length and a half back to Shadow Play, Merrill's Glory, moving well on the outside now is Blooming Chaser. It's going to be between these first five or six, I imagine, as we come into the final half mile, and it's Slip Anchor, Bayswater Marsh, these two, one and two. About three lengths back to Merrill's Golly, Shadow Play, Blooming Chaser still trying to make up some ground, Watergate, further lengths back to Tackajan, Vitruvian Hindsight, Chingford Cross, Plain lucky has got nothing left, Running on now is no more prisoners, Swift Breeze and Amelia Farley, but they're going to do a lot to catch these leaders. And it's still Slip Anchor that leads them into the 21st. And he's starting to pull away now from Bayswater Marsh, Marsh as he drops back. The one making up ground again is Merrill's Glory as they go over the 21st three from home. There's two to jump, and it's Slip Anchor and Merrill's Glo Golly. Merrill's Golly takes it up, and he's gone. Merrill's Golly's gone, I think. No, it was a poor a glitch in the screen, and it's Merrill's Golly that leads. Just by half a length as he gets to the last, he's over it from Watergate Slip Anchor on the inside, shadow play, but Merrill's Golly's going to take this inside the final half a half, and it is Merrill's Golly from Watergate in second, running on well for third with Shadow's play, Slick Anchor, I think was the one that made the mistake, a couple of fences out, I thought had gone, that's a good win there for Merrill's Golly, conditions here, some of them didn't enjoy going there, Mark Raisin. Well, it looks like Mr. Robertson Silks, but I'm not 100% certain. I'll wait for the final card to come up. And that's Daniel French. Well done, Daniel. Isn't that a one-two for you? So Watergate second for, Dan for Darren Thompson. Third was Shadow Play for Daniel French. Really did well there, Mr. French. Four, Slip Anchor for Paul O'Neill. Five was Vitruvian Hindsight for Davy Ladd.